Hey there and welcome back. I'm Kristen Galloway, a licensed occupational therapist and certified dementia care specialist. Today I'd like to talk about um, visual changes that can accompany a diagnosis of dementia. So we often think of um, visual changes that occur with normal aging in older adults. And so these kind of things can be things like loss of visual acuity, um, cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, and these type of vision changes um, or vision degeneration happens to a lot of older adults. However, there is some evidence to indicate that individuals with dementia have a loss of uh, some of their peripheral visual field, particularly in the lower quadrant, but also in the sides and at the top. Um, they have difficulty processing visual information, so they may not have difficulty seeing, but once that information gets to the brain and how the brain interprets and processes that information, can be a problem for people with dementia. There's also some research that indicates that eye movements may be a problem for individuals with dementia. So being able to track something from side to side or up and down, um, and also visual spatial difficulties. So um, one of the things that would be involved in that would be depth perception. So being able to kind of reach out and grab something with accuracy. So sometimes they may fall short or overreach when they're reaching for something. Um, so what can we do to support people with dementia who are having visual difficulties? There are a handful of things that are pretty simple to implement that can help them um, to use the visual abilities that they have um, to the best. And so number one would be to use good lighting. So good lighting is great for um, just kind of lighting up the entire area so that you can um, see if there are any objects in the way that might um, cause a fall. So good lighting also will help light up the corners of the room and eliminate shadows, um, which can contribute to sundowning, um, which can lead to unwanted behaviors uh, and a lot of frustration. Um, so good lighting is great for safety purposes, but also um, to improve visual abilities. Um, using good contrast would be the next thing to do. So um, I always use um, dining as an example for this. So having, if you have a dark placemat, using a light colored or a white plate, or if you have a light colored um, table or tablecloth, using a dark colored plate. And then um, again, contrast between the plate and the surface that it's on, but also contrast between the plate and the food items that are on there. So we want to have that you know, dark to light contrast as much as we can. You can also use this um, to update the settings in a cell phone or on a computer or a tablet um, to enhance the contrast, right? So you can change the background or change the font color so that it's easier for someone to see. Um, the third thing that you can do is to remove items that aren't needed for a specific task or remove clutter in an area. So the more visual information we have to process at one time, the more difficult it is for us to, um, to take that information in and use it effectively in our brain. And so if you're setting up a task for someone with dementia or an activity, get rid of everything else, clear the area, and just have all the items that they need to use at that time for that task or that activity. And that will help to eliminate confusion um, and potentially missing an item um, when they're having to select from a wide range of things that are available. Um, similar to this, another thing that we can do to help them is to organize drawers and closets so that the items don't overlap. So um, one of the things that um, is difficult for some people who have visual problems is called figure ground um, or looking at, so if, think about if you're looking into a drawer in the kitchen, that drawer, right, with all the stuff in it, the junk drawer, <laughs> and how hard it is to find things in there. A lot of that is because items are overlapping and we can only see a small portion of an item maybe like poking out. So for those of us that have um, good visual processing, we're able to look and see, you know, just the top corner of a key and we know that that's a key. But being able to separate that out from the things that are overlapping it and also to complete in our mind the entire shape of the key so that we can recognize it in our mind it's a pretty complex uh, processing task and it might be hard for some people with dementia. So organizing the drawers so that each item is laid out where they can see it, whether this is their sock drawer, you know, the socks are rolled up and separated into each individual pair, um, or whether it's the silverware drawer and we have a nice organizer or caddy where we have all the knives in one place, all the forks in one place, all the spoons in one place, so that they're not just kind of um, thrown in the drawer all together and mixed up in a jumble. Um, 
And then the last thing that we can do um, has to do with how we approach. So walk up to and begin to conversation with someone with dementia. So if you think about it, um, and you might want to try this little experiment with me, I, I, got, I borrowed this from Tiva Snow. Um, if you're losing some peripheral vision, right? And so we kind of have our little like side blinders on, right? And so this is all that we can see. And someone starts saying something to you from outside of your field of vision. It could be a little startling, right? You might not even realize that that person is there. So I always recommend when you're going to um, engage with or talk to someone with dementia, to let them know that you're there first by coming into their visual field. So this may mean either directly in front of them or just slightly off to the side, right? Get down on eye level with them. So if they're sitting down, squat or kneel down or sit down with them and make eye contact and then begin your conversation. That allows them to recognize that you're in their space, um, that hopefully they recognize you and know that you're a safe person. You can always smile, right? To remind them that you're safe and, um, and friendly, right? And then start your conversation with them. So this helps them use their visual processing abilities to recognize you, to acknowledge that you're there, and then to realize that you're going to begin speaking to them rather than having a voice come out of kind of the periphery where they can't, um, can't see who it is that's talking to them. So I hope you found those tips helpful. Um, if you are working with someone with dementia who has um, visual difficulties, of course, um, it's always a great idea to have their vision checked by a visual vision specialist uh, physician. Um, so that you can understand if there are some visual deficits that need to or can be corrected, that you can, of course, have that done first um, before you try any of the tips that I recommended here. So good luck. Um, certainly drop me a note in the comments um, if you have any questions or any other things, that, any other content that you'd like to see videos on. I'd love to hear from you. Give me a thumbs up if you found this content useful. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me.